Oh, you gotta love it. Western Port Bay, whiting time. It's just a beautiful pattern. These guys are a little powerhouse. It's an Almaglashan fish. I just feel like I've just been set up. Oh, whiting master. Bring him in, that's a nice fish. God, he's got leeches all over him. Look at that, another one. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah, yeah, get, get, get it, pick it up, pick it up. What a pretty little fish, eh? Well, welcome to Western Port Bay, about 80 k's south of Melbourne. It's an awesome spot. Now, we had such a good show when we caught those snapper in Port Phillip Bay. I had to come back down, only this time, just for a change of scenery and fish. We're going to catch whiting and gummies down here in Western Port. I brought Shannon along. He's given up on the dewies. He heard about the snapper and the whiting and the gummies, so he's coming south with us. And of course, Lofty, who's bailed on working at the Complete Angler, to come out fishing, just as responsible as me. Oh, you gotta love it. Western Port Bay, whiting time. Well, if there's one thing Western Port is famous for, it's whiting. We're here in two and a half metres of water. Got the little old pippies ready to go. Bit of burly. Let's see if we can catch a whiting or two. Got a variety of baits out and it pays just to keep putting fresh baits and keep changing them too. They're, they're fussy fish, sometimes they're into the squid, sometimes they're into the slimy. If we keep trying different baits, fish swim around, might turn him into a hookup, hopefully. There we got one on. Oh, that's serious. On fire, Lofty! <laughs> that's a flat whiting that's been hit by a car. And he's on. Yeah, another wrong fish. Uh, flathead, eh? Mm, not quite what we wanted to start with. A little flathead. Don't worry, we'll get the right stuff. Now, one thing you can see with baiting up is you see here with the shiner hooks is that it actually sits up on the in the cradle here. This is really important. You don't want it sitting down behind the hook at the bottom. Once you wrap it up, as you're doing, you can see there, so it sits in there. So as the fish goes to bite it, he's on every time. Go on, Shannon, put it out and get us a fish, mate. Probably worth mentioning now, pippies are probably one of the favourite baits. In the old days, pippies were cheap as. Then they became popular to eat, and now they call them dollar coins, every one of them because they're so expensive and in New South Wales where you get them on all the beaches now, we've got massive issues with the population. It's really crashed. Same as South Australia. So yeah, we're not sure what's happening with the poor old pippy. As soon as it becomes human consumption, suddenly they become a lot more valuable. I just, that's a whiting for sure. Oh, whiting master. Bring him in, that's a nice fish is a King George Whiting. These guys are absolutely beautiful fish. It's just a beautiful pattern. These guys are a little powerhouse. If they grew to 10 kilos, we'd be fishing for them with 50 pound gear. And that's not, oh, and the lofty's on the background there. Don't be a flathead, don't be a flathead, don't be a flathead. Uh, Trevally or salmon? Ooh, salmon. A salmon, we'll keep him for bait. Good gummy bait. That's what we want. So there, so we've started, and that's a nice size whiting too. We've got a little, little bait there. We're going to turn that into a gummy, I reckon, later on. My oath. Welcome to Westerport. Woohoo! I might catch one now. No one even responded to that. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot of support in this boat for me. And now it's time for fish facts, thanks to the complete angler. The King George whiting is arguably one of the best eating fish in Australia. Now, they're found right around the southern half. They're common from Port Phillip Bay to Spencer Gulf, and they are the biggest of the whole whiting family. They're easily identifiable from the others from their little spots. They spend their lives up in the shallows, 
working around the sand patches in amongst the weed beds. And they can grow as big as 70 centimetres. Coming up after the break. Oh, you actually got something. Yeah. Al, oh. you should start a fishing show. Destination profile for the tough and reliable Mitsubishi Triton. Western Port Bay covers just 270 square kilometres. It's completely different from Port Phillip Bay, being much smaller and a series of channels and mud banks and gutters and weed beds, but it's rich in life. And in particular, it's famous for its whiting and its gummy sharks. Dominated by Phillip Island, which is famous for its surfing and its motor GP, Western Port is an amazing boating destination. There are numerous boat ramps, from Hastings, which has a whole marina, to the smaller ones like Stony Point. But the big issue with Western Port are the tides, and it can make navigation a bit difficult. The trick is to really pay attention. That's the right stuff too, I think, mate. That's the right one. Uh, salmon. Oh, oh, OK, I lied. <laughs> Don't let anyone listen to me. <laughs> Good work, mate. Good work. A couple of gummy baits. We'll turn them into a fish later on. Yep. <laughs> come on, come on. That's a beautiful fish, mate. Well done. That's a lovely fish. Quite happy with that. Yep. Al, there's one on here. Quick. No, there's not. There is. Trust Idiot. me. Wind it up. Trust me. Boy, what have you done? Mate. You, you'll see. There's nothing on there. Up. Keep oh, going. Hang on. It's you an Almaglashan fish. I just feel like I've just been set up. I just picked up the rod. I couldn't help myself. And hmm. <laughs> This is the crap that I deal with. People go, Al, you've got the best job in the world. Well, when I end up with fish like this, because these smart asses do this. <laughs> that's not the word I'd use. Help me out. These guys are just... Oh. You know what he's done? He's hooked this up, gone, oh, bloody hell, it's flat I'll drop it down. McGlashan will be stupid enough, he'll pick it up. Well, see, I was feeling sorry for you, Al. You're sitting there catching no fish, so there you go. It's called a flat whiting. Oh, one on the back there. And it's a... Uh... Uh-oh. It's a flathead. <laughs> How does this happen to me? <laughs> It's a double flathead. Turn around. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> I thought I had a whiting. You can tell why I'm the host of the show. Catch flathead like no other. Catch a fish in the meantime. Is that putting it out in the, yep. in the channel? Oh, you actually got something. Oh, you, oh, Al. Al. Oh, 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 oh. You, you, you should start a fishing show. So oh, that baby. Oh, yeah, my glasses. Let me lick this guy. Oh. And another KG. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Now, here you go. Beautiful KGs. King George Whiting. They're absolute little powerhouses. For their size, they go like the clappers. I mean, if these grew to 10 kilos, man, you'd be fighting them with 50 pound tackle. And everyone loves catching these in Western Port. You know, better still, they're absolutely magnificent to eat. I would say they're probably, I reckon, one of the best in the world for eating. So, while we like letting them go, just and hooked up again in the background, while we like letting them go, these are going home for dinner. Woohoo! Now, one trick I can offer is that even though the tide's starting to slow down, you've got a lot of weed. And as that weed goes down, it's catching on the line, it's running down the line, and it's, as you can see, it's hiding your baits. The second thing it's doing is it, that's creating pressure and it's lifting your bait up off the bottom. Now, one trick that Lofty was saying before, that when he fishes off the pier, what he does is put a little sinker further up the line, so as the, as the weed runs down your line, it stops well above your bait, and then you don't end up with that sort of thing where your bait's just completely concealed. It's like a camouflage bait. Yep, I got that one. I think I can have that other rod. <laughs> That's right. it. No, you're right, he's not going. He poached me. Oh, how's that for skill? And it's another KG. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Uh, such pretty little fish. Oh. Come here, my little friend. 
Oh, look at that oh, baby undersized it's whiting. It's a baby. Now, this is the beauty that we have. Well, he's still probably legal. We're going to let that one go. We're going to eat mine. Well, I'm going to eat it. He's not going to eat anything. We'll let that one go and keep the bigger ones. He was probably scoot out of hand. There he goes. He's swimming with his buddy. Unfortunately for his buddy, he can go on the menu. They're such beautiful fish. Now, the interesting thing is the price. What are these worth in the market there, Lofty? At the moment, there. Yeah. 25, 35 a kilo. 25, 35 a kilo. Unbelievable. There's another one. Ooh. There you go. Can Poach that me. <laughs> That's why I got assistance. So that I can catch the, the whiting. We're only fishing here in a couple, I think it's 2.2 .2 metres of water. So it's not even that deep. Yeah, looks like this. a good one. Another good fish, eh? He's a good whiting, I've seen him. Look at that. You know, the best part, we've got dinner. This whole series we promoted everything, you know, catching and release and letting stuff go. That's almost 40 centimetres, that guy. That's a really solid whiting. Fish like the pros with complete angling. Now, if there's one thing that's changed in whiting fishing, it's the hooks. In the old days, we used to always use long shanks. Now, it's all about little shiner hooks, which is sort of semi-circle, I suppose you could say. And they have revolutionised the way we fish. The key is, shiner hooks work when you want to actually hook the fish. If you want to do the lazy style and just leave the rod in the rod holder, then you use the full circle. Probably a good idea to have both on board. And this is them here, the little shiner hook. And what it is, it's sort of like a half circle. As soon as you hook up, just lift up, you're on. After the break. There we go. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> This is it! Environmental tip, thanks to Club Marine, Australia's largest insurer of pleasure craft. Now, when it comes to the environmental tip, the best advice we can offer is to catch your own bait. If you catch your own, you're minimising impact. But if you do have to buy it, make sure you buy Australian. If it's Australian, it's local, and stuff that we import, you don't know whether it's, you know, it's not right for this area. Buy the Australian bait if you have to, or even better, go and catch your own. Well, we've come right up the back of Coronella just for something different. And you know what? I've never actually fished up here. But one of my mates, Cam, said, some good fish in here, snapper. They even got a dewy. Water looks like I'd catch a Murray Cod, but we'll just wait and see what's in there. We've got the burly down. Bait's out, just a matter of time. Be the right stuff. Now this is the question. No, it's not doing it. Come on. It's, you know, you sit there thinking, what, you, what is it? And this brown water, God knows what it is. We won't see it until it actually comes up. I'd say it's a banjo or something, the way it's spinning there. Maybe a foul hook gummy. Maybe a banjo. It's a banjo. Aye, aye, aye. Come here, my little friend. Deep uh, flat. There we go. Little banjo shark. Now you can see that's a male, because he's got these little claspers. We were just talking about before, complete with a leech, which I'll do him a favour and pull off. It's on me now. Oh, well, I can stay there for a minute. Oh, sorry, mate. They spend all their time just sitting on the bottom like that. God, he's got leeches all over him. Look at that, another one. Stay still. I'll give you. I'll be nice to you, mate. Probably the best thing he ever did. There we go. Look, now you're leech free, ready to go. There we go, my little friend. Not quite what we were after, eh? Now these King George can grow up to around a kilo, a kilo and a half. Generally down here, 40 centimetres is a good fish. South Australia, they get a bit bigger, but Western Port in particular has got so, it's like we were saying with Port Phillip Bay, it's got better and better. Western Port's the same. It's actually improved, and the whiting fishing now is much better than when I was a kid. 
Like we go out and catch a lot of whiting now, and they they seem to be you know handling it really well. There's a bit of fishing pressure. It doesn't seem to affect the fish at all. You don't need to lock the place up with marine parks and closures. Instead, you just need to manage the fisheries. That way, we get dinner. Now, like with all whiting, well, the guys have got double hook up there in the background. The whiting have these tiny little mouths, but see, there's no teeth. And they go along sucking things up. So they move along in the seagrass beds, on the edge of the, the sand, picking up you know, little bits and pieces, stuff like that. And if you look here, actually, this one, is this grass whiting. Same thing, he's still got the little teeth. He's actually sort of almost half between a wrasse, isn't he? He's got lovely coloration. Yep. It's beautiful patterns. So grass whiting that one is, but I've got the right one. I've got the proper king joint whiting. And what did you get, flathead boy? Oh, I got nothing, mate. <laughs> Gold. Double whiting. This is what we wanted to see. We're talking about getting that bite, you know, where every rod's going off and stuff like that. And, Look at the size of these guys. This is awesome fun. Oh, that is a good fish. Look at the size of that. I think mine's oh, bigger than it's a triple. Yours. It's a triple in the background. Mine's the biggest. Nah, nah almost a triple. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. This is it. This is strange camp. How good's that? Wonder what it looks like, eh? Oh, a bit nervous. My camera's gonna. Oh, look at the size of the whiting I've got on it. That's a, not a bad fish. And I filmed it from the rod. Talk about creative. I'm quite impressed with my effort here. And let's see how it swings in. Oh, he's on in the background there. Ugh. Look at that. How good's that? Another beautiful whiting, eh? Now, one tip I can offer you, and it's particularly important here in Western Port, is all about anchoring right. And it's, it's about being right on the spot. Now, we've got a lot of current, so it can be really hard to set the anchor properly. The trick is get yourself right on that mark, and if it doesn't work, do it again. And luckily, we've got an electric anchor, so I don't have to pull it up. And then once you're back on it, do it again. Come on, baby, hold in tight. When I'm fishing the open water on this great country of ours, I always rely on Shimano to get the job done. They have a great range of rods, reels, accessories, lures, and even clothing for every fishing need. And now, the complete angler are giving you a chance to win $2,000 worth of Shimano gear just by shopping in store. All you have to do is head into your local complete angler store, buy any item, fill out the entry form, and you're a chance to win this awesome prize. I know Complete Angler and Shimano have never let me down, so why don't you find out for yourself? For full terms and conditions, go to completeangler.com.au. Well, we've done the whiting. And I'll tell you what, we're now onto one fish that everyone in Victoria loves, gummy sharks. Don't lose it. Gummy shark! <laughs> oh. hey, well done! Well done, Stu. It seems my brother's come in and poached our spot. I mean, he might have found it before us, but since we're here first, he's now poaching our gummies. That could have been our fish. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah, yeah, get, get, get it, pick it up, pick it up! Come on, come on, come on. You know, everyone else around the country can't understand why Victorians like gummy sharks. And I, admittedly, I am an ex-Mexican. They are awesome fish to catch. And they've got no teeth, so they don't bite you. Now, Shannon, is that a gummy? I would say it's a gummy or a schoolie. I think it's a good one, this one. Come on, mate. Ah, thank God he brought the New South Wales fisherman. There he is. Gummy? There's gummy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only a little guy. Have a look at that. Only a baby one. There we go. Come here, mate. Now, this is only a little baby. What a pretty little fish, eh? Now, everywhere else, flake can be anything, but in Victoria, where it's absolutely delicious, 
It's either school shark, which is very similar to a gummy, basically a gummy with teeth, or it's these guys, the gummy shark. And as you can see there, if you'll oblige, they're powerful little guys. See the little mouth there? I'll just turn him around for you. See, it's got no teeth, hence the name gummy shark. And despite these things tasting absolutely delicious, we're gonna be really nice today and let it go. And off she goes, straight down. You ripper, Victorian gummy shark on fire. Caught by New South Wales gummy. Awesome. Well guys, I tell you what, that was pretty awesome, isn't it? You think of Western Port, we did the gummies, we got the whiting, stingray, grass whiting. We got flathead. plenty of flathead, yeah, little ones. We got a really good variety and showed that you can fish in, well, what did we start in? Two metres of water and ended up in 30 metres of water. That is Western Port. That is the advantage of Western Port. And look, it's uh, great to come out with your owl. Really appreciate the day. It's like awesome. It's good pun. Thank it's you. It's awesome. All right. Well, that's another day done. The sun's setting, and I reckon it's time for a beer. There are three tips we can offer you to help you catch more fish in Western Port. First and foremost, use easy rigs. That way you can change the weight of your sinker to match the tide. Secondly, always use circle hooks. And it doesn't matter whether you're chasing gummy sharks or whiting. It'll give you a better hookup rate, and for the fish you release, it's much better for them. And finally, never fish to the limit. Instead, always limit your catch, and that way 